Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm the owner of SeasonAndSurfBlog.com. It is officially spooky season and today we are going to be decorating our haunted house for Halloween. I have a combination of classic Halloween decor from pumpkins to crows and spiders and haunted houses to a potions and poisons table that is so unique and truly one of a kind. So if you want to see what my Halloween decor looks like, just keep on watching and don't forget to stay to the end for the full nighttime tour. So if you saw in last week's moving vlog and home tour, this is our front sitting room and we're going to be decorating this area with a bunch of Halloween decorations. I have three big bins of Halloween decor for inside and outside, so I'm going to take it all out and see what we have. As you can see, we have a bunch of different pumpkins and gourds on the table. We went to a pumpkin patch and we picked all those up. So I'm definitely gonna incorporate those into a Halloween decor. As you can see, I'm pulling out a bunch of different things and notably those bottles, I'll show you them up close, but my sister made those all from scratch. They're all different, all unique, and they are my favorite thing in this world. I'm gonna have them literally forever. I've collected my Halloween decor from various places over the years. A lot of it is thrifted or from the dollar store, but I also like to shop at Michael's, HomeSense, and even higher in places like Crate and Barrel for these light up ghosts and cauldrons. I also have some few family items such as a ceramic haunted house and this glow in the dark tree. This has been in our family for like 30 years and I love it so much. So first up, we're going to decorate the potions and poisons table, and this is just our regular side table, and I'm just going to clear that off to make way for all of those beautiful bottles. So to start, I'm going to lay down some spooky cloth. I got this from a dollar store about 10 years ago, and it gets better with age, especially for Halloween. And now I'm going to start arranging all those bottles that my sister made for me. Again, each of these is super unique. She must have spent hours working on each bottle, but they are all so beautiful and I wish I could keep these out all year. Like, they are such a vibe. I love it. The Ink of Octopus is my favorite with the glazed octopus eyes. That is so cool. I love it so much. When my sister made these, she went all out and sent me like 15 or 20 of these, which was amazing. But sadly, I had to send some back to her because when we moved, we didn't have enough space. So I kept all of my favorite ones. Now I'm working on the other side of the table where I placed my cauldron bowl from Crate and Barrel, along with a few other bottles. And I'm filling the cauldron with some sparkly lights and they are on a flashing setting. So it looks really cool at night. I'm also using some battery operated tea lights for a little bit of ambience and I decide to put these inside of these thrifted chalices which also give them a nice flickering glow. Next we're moving on to decorate the fireplace area and I'm going to be decorating the mantle and to do this I need some command hooks. Now I'm going to put these up now because I am going to use them for Christmas in just literally a few weeks because I decorate on November 1st like a crazy person but I'm putting these up and I'm doing them in this direction just so I can hang the garland off of it and it acts like a hook so the garland won't fall off. So I'm just going to put three across the front of my mantle and then I'm going to hang up my Halloween garland. This is from my mom. I'm pretty sure she got this at Michael's or some store like that and it's just these beautiful black sparkly leaves. I love these so much and this is the perfect spot for them in our home. And next up I'm going to add some orange string lights. These are super Halloween with the black leaves and I'm just wrapping these around the garland to give it a bit more dimension and to ensure the string lights aren't in a single line. And next up, I'm gonna add my crows. These are just from the dollar store. I've had them for probably about seven or eight years now, and they're still in pretty decent shape. So I'm gonna put two of the big crows on the end and then the baby crow in the middle. I like to think this is myself, my husband, David, and our cat, Pearl. And then I'm just gonna add some plastic spiders in here. They have a little bit of glitter, which is really nice for Halloween. And I'm using them to cover up some of the wires as well. That's what a mantle looks like for now, and I'll show you in a bit what it looks like when it's dark out. And in the dining room, I kept it really simple here. All I did was layer this lacy cobweb tablecloth along the center of the table, and then arranged our little haunted house, spooky tree, and our light up ghosts in the middle. Even though this is really simple, I think it's super effective, and I love that you can interact with these elements from both sides of the table. To tie everything together, I'm also adding some decor to our front windowsill. 
I'm simply layering some string lights and then adding some regular pumpkins and light up pumpkins to the front. And I'm also decorating our side table. So I'm layering this woven basket tray with a vase full of dusty purple eucalyptus, a candle, and then I swapped out my pumpkin for this black sparkly one. This adds such a beautiful Halloween touch. And with that, our decor is all done. And now it's time for our nighttime tour. And that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed watching me decorate for Halloween and enjoyed my Halloween home tour. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to see more holiday decor videos from me. The holidays are coming up really soon and I can't wait to show you what I have planned for Christmas. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok for more home decor inspiration as well as delicious seasonal recipes. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy Halloween!